What's good, home? What's good, YouTube fam and friends? It's your boy Nato G. I'm just sitting here at work. Um, got like a half an hour before we open, so I decided to open up Audacity and look for some samples for the Mall City Soul Tape. Um, so, um, So I think I'm gonna take that right there. Oops, I think it's right about there. Then you just go to edit, um, hit cut, then go to file, hit new, control V to paste what you just chopped, and then. Oh, as I was counting, that's a little over four bars, so I'm going to take this end piece off. I don't think I need to speed it up, because uh, I, I do speed up in Audacity sometimes. Um, so to show the kind of whole process, you go to Effect, go to Chain Speed, and in Audacity it changes by percents. So if you want to like, slow it down, you will put a negative before your number. So normally I don't speed it up no more than 7%. Um, let's ch check and see something. So, don't think I need to speed it up though. I think it's a perfect tempo for me to do my drums when I get home. So, you hit export. I gotta set the MP3 because I use this to like convert MP3s from personas. personas. Um, hit wave. Go to computer. This is my compact flash card. As you can see, I don't name my samples. Um, I just actually just give them numbers. Um, so I think this is sample um, 242. Um, you could, you know, fill out artist information if you want, but I don't. Um, so I got that done. Let's go back. I might have to reverse that cut because it kind of. Yeah, let me undo the cut. Because it kind of. There we go. So then. So let's use more process. Uh, for actually uh, cotton bars as I chop so and I find when I do that my MPC when I quantize the chops it works a lot better rather than throwing a long set of a then trimming it down and stuff so so same process think what I need Back and count. So yeah, so I'm gonna take the little, the little part that was left over from the last shot.
loop time kind of walking through the whole process of how I chop samples and audacity quick vid. Um, six, I'm gonna take a little extra. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a little extra off that little buff heart. So this is kind of my process of uh, how I sample an audacity and chop. I'm using AP3 files. So I use them mostly because it's more convenient. Plus your boy do did for vinyl like last in the last month. I probably bought like 20 albums that I haven't even listened to yet. So, uh, so, so shout out to the crew by the way. Um, export as wave. Give it a name or if you like me. Um, Oops, wait a minute. So, it's your boy Nato G. So yeah, this is uh part two of uh <laughs> the vid I just shot. Um so yeah we just I'm just sitting sitting in at work, um, finishing up this this uh sampling for the North City Soul Tape Volume Four. I'm going to try and put the GOS tape out next week. I'm still waiting to hear back from the Homie 5 free. See if we can put it out through 8 Voyager. Um, so hopefully, that's, uh, hopefully that goes through okay. Because um, he's dope on the cover art, by the way, too. So he did all the cover work for the, from the Trail of Love project and the Demeter Joe tape. So thanks for everybody support the Demeter Joe tape. I appreciate it. You know, so I really, really appreciate it. Um, and so, yeah, I just got done exporting this as Wave. This is how I usually do. I go through songs. Usually I take no more than three sections. Sometimes I don't use three sections. I've been trying to um, test myself by using like one section of a of a sample um, versus you know for the whole beat and you know. So it's a good exercise if you ever you know. A lot of people like to incorporate different all different parts into it, but I use like one loop or one two bar part of the sample and just rearrange it and arrange it different through each uh, four bar sequence, but. So yeah, I'm just taking the last part that I might use. Um, and usually each chop, I don't sample no more than depending on how slow it is or how 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 many bars. I usually don't take more than each each slice about uh or each section about 15 seconds. Um, you know that's just me because my I don't like to have to switch over banks. And if it's too long, I'll be scared to like, like throw my rhythm off my little my little rhythm off that I got with the sample. So. adjusting this a little bit so I think I might have a lot of slices I need for the uh, the beat hope my drums come out nice I gotta think of a drum pattern for it as I'm listening to it yeah, a lot of times I come up with drum patterns almost like by the 14kt method where he was beatboxing on his vid I do that sometimes or sometimes I just listen to the tempo and kinda you know formulate it in my head so um, let's fork this and uh, yeah, also you know, I talked to the homie Day Sun last night on uh, Facebook, and uh, he also asked me, you know, did I ever think about joining the Songs for Beat Battle? So I actually signed up. Um, so I haven't made the beat or submitted anything yet, but yeah, I thought it'd be cool because Genesis, uh, if you know about Genesis Pro, dope producer out of New York, that's the big homie. Um, he told me a long time ago that I should get down with that uh, that beat battle, the Songs for Beat Battle. So. Um, so I, just, I did download the sample, 
Um, haven't chopped, I don't think I chopped it yet, but I am going to uh, mess around with it, submit it, and see what happens. So, I think it would be a nice exercise, um, you know, just to test your skills and stuff. So, along with the beat in too. So, the beat in is a good Facebook group if y'all want to check that out. Um, groups at beat in, at the beat in, or just look, search like Facebook for the beat in. Um, so, so, yeah. Yep, try to drop that GOS tape next week. I got like, I think about eight beats done. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of what else I could use for. Looking for. I used that last. Used that on the last old tape. So, you know, I'll be trying to steal my samples. <laughs> I think I might fuck with that. So, yeah, it's going to be the last time I chop on camera anyway for the rest of the day. So, I'm about to get ready to open and stuff. So, so I might could use that. I kind of like that, that bounce I had to it, that swing I had to it, so. Yeah, so the GOS tape, I think it's going to be like one of the best work since the Oven Fresh tape. The, I like the Demi Joe tape too, but because I was using the machine, some of the beats didn't come out as I wanted it to. Because um, I used the machine for the first half, so, you know, that's why I was telling you guys, like Jay Field said, the first, second half was like a lot stronger production-wise. Um, but I'm still learning with the machine, so no excuses, but, you know, I'm still learning the equipment, and, you know, I like machine, it's cool, um, but I'm an MC, MPC man to death, so, you know, I, you know, I use the machine for portability reasons, because MC, MPC 1000, even though I say, it was, say it's so portable, um, it's heavy as hell, so. Take the intro part. So yeah, this is just you know a little process, you know, how I go about, you know, sampling from every threes anyway. Um you know. I'm actually working on getting a USB turntable for my birthday. Uh, since I work on the computer a lot anyway, you know, as far as, you know, shopping and stuff. Um so if you guys don't have any good, you know, decent uh USB turntables, let me know. So I'm trying to think if I want to get a, a belt drive, which would be cheaper, or a direct drive. Because the direct drive is going to play 300. Um, but I might just get a you know a regular belt drive since I'm not going to be scratching nothing with it. But um, so I'm thinking about doing that. Um, let's see. I need to speed this up though. Yeah, I think I might need to speed that up. See what else we can dig out that sample. Yeah. Might be a sweet loop if I can do it right. I hope 
what our speed is up. I can still catch the beat though. The drums, anyway. I have the speed of the drum. I think I'm going to to work with that. It's something I always do too, is depend on how easy it is for me to chop with it sped up and catch the Simon. Uh, sometime I'll, with Audacity, I'll save two copies of the same sample, one sped up and one without. Um, so I've been doing that a lot lately, so in case uh, I have a hard time catching the beat with uh, with the speed, it's with it sped up. Cause you can't time trust an NPC, I just learned how to do uh, so I do know how to do that, but it's just easier and quicker. And sometimes I still time search in the NPC after I do this too, so. Shout out to the homie Solo One for putting me up on that uh that digging channel, um, that sample channel. I mean, um, also for the memory cards and cords and stuff, dude. I really appreciate it, man. We gotta get up soon, go digging. So, um, but yeah, this is for Nato G. Um, signing out. Y'all have a good one. Work about to start, so I'll, peace.